Um, and then I'm going to... I kind of just want to hopscotch. Uh, let's see. Be able to get over to this roof. Still one move, one fly movement. Wait, yeah, no, two fly movements. So I'm going to do double movement to get over here. Okay. And um, was that perception check an action? No. That was just a check. Um, no. And then. I I'm guess technically to... I should have measured against your passive, but your passive is outrageous anyway. It's better for me to ask you to roll because then you might actually fail. <laughs> That's not true. My minimum passive perception, my minimum roll perception is way lower yeah. or way higher because yeah, I got that you... natural talent. Yeah. So technically that should have been passive perception. I just wanted you to know what was going on down there so you could. No, that's fair enough. <laughs> um, okay, so that's all my movement, but I still have an action. So I'm going to ready an action. Okay. Um, for. First of all, from here, do I see anything on this roof now that I'm up here? You need to use an action, make a perception check to scan that roof from where you are. Okay, let's do that. That seems like a good use of my time. That's going to be 12, 7, 19, uh, 24. You see shadowy movement, but you can't make out shapes. Not impossible to tell what that technically is, but yes, there is movement on that roof. Beautiful. All right, that's my, that's my short-term goal then is to take out the next round of snipers. Okay. Question mark number four. Number four. Okay. Orphan. From your position, mm -hmm. maybe 20 or 30 feet away from this path here, you absolutely know that there is some number. I'm going to make them pink just because why not? Some number of somebody, some a person or multiple people are using the path and heading in towards the woods. Right now, you just know that they're there because they're not making any effort to be stealthy about it. Mm -hmm. In fact, you're positive there's there's more than one. Beyond that, you couldn't say. They're running into the woods. They're moving quickly. They're not running like full bore. They're not dashing. They're moving carefully. They're not running with a... Uh, like, they're not going to bumble into a trap, in other words. Like, if they put up a trip word, making sure nobody stumbled on them, they're in their passionate lovemaking, they're going to step over it. <laughs> Eldov. Uh, same as usual. Okay. <laughs> so Eldov rolls a one, because that's what he's been doing all night. Yeah, basically. I go and hide underneath some trees. Terran. Uh, just keep on keeping on. Okay. And Go, Eldo buddy. Pace. I'm gonna knock him out. That brings it back to Orphan. So you know, there are there's movement coming into the woods. At least two people. Okay. Oh, we can go way farther than that, Darren. Oh, <laughs> uh, how much? Started here. I'm, I am wearing away. heavy armor. Okay, so Orphan's gonna come and poke her head through the trees here. Okay, are you trying to be stealthy at all? Remember, the plan, Orphan's plan, is to yep. provoke, provoke attention and bring them back to the party. A group of four of them. Silver Eye mercenaries. Looks like they're running into the woods to investigate the, uh, the horn. They've noticed the dead body up on this roof here. You see, um, but from your position, you can't see. Yeah. You know that there's an archer up here that Zook took down, but not before he was able to blow his horn. So they've looks like they've scanned the roof, and now they're looking into the forest and are going to canvas the woods. <laughs> okay. Do do any of them look like they've seen me? Um, no, not yet. All right. In that case, I'll, I'll, as a free action, I will, I will say they're over here. <laughs> In what language? Uh, infernal. Why not? Infernal. Holy balls! Wow. Okay. Well, now how loud do you say this? Um, and lions roar. Do you raise your no. Do you raise your voice? I don't even I don't even say it that loud. Um, okay. I'm not I'm not yelling it. I'm just gonna turn over my over my shoulder and say, just alternative voice. 
They're over this way. Okay, then yeah, the group from where you guys are standing are definitely able to hear that. Zook, maybe not, because you're way up on the roof. But from across this field... Well, what's the distance Pretty on good that? hearing. That's over 100 one, feet. Okay, you'd have to, and once You'd have to speak it louder than a conversational tone to be heard from that distance. It's fine. My, my goals are elsewhere in the owl. And once I've said that, yep. I'm going to dash back over here. Into the middle of the field? Yeah. Okay. All right. Question mark number one. And Khalil. The terror, it's the uh, orphan come out of the, uh, come back come back over to the group, take a position next to her, draw my weapon, and get ready to throw down. Okay. Finally. Ready an action? An action. <laughs> yeah, you? one of them comes into one of them comes into melee range with me. No, they're getting chopped. They're they're too far to get into melee range. Okay. Fred's group. Eric. Mm -hmm. So you're taking up next mm -hmm. to orphan here in the field. Yep. Um. We only see four. You don't see any right now. I Orphan, don't see any. Orphan knew they were there because she heard them from within the tree line. She poked her head out and counted four. Gotcha. But then she came back out of the trees. Gotcha. You can't see the path from your position here. But Orphan's... You don't speak Infernal. Orphan cursed in some diabolical language that makes you hate your very soul. Mm, sounds like a clutch my holy symbol. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Zook. Um, I think it's Zook. Okay. Is it Zook? Yeah, Zook. It's Redemption's group. Men Zook. Yeah, I didn't know. If, did you? Yeah, you probably did something. Um, uh, yes, I did. <laughs> Guys, uh, I have five notepads and a spreadsheet open, in addition to everybody's character sheets on the laptop here, plus a notebook that I've got pencil scratches all over. <laughs> all right. So you ought to take a picture of that at some point. Oh yeah, I keep asking you to do screen grabs of it. Oh, um, maybe. All right, so Zook's gonna hop over to this roof. Okay. Um. And do I have any better idea of what's going on on this roof yet? I'll let, make a I'll let you make a perception check. All right, perception check. Uh, let's see, 11, 18, 23. 23. Yes, you do see some movement over there. I don't have a beat on anyone. You do, actually. Hey! You see one of the snipers on this section of the roof here. Mm-hmm. And he's holding his crossbow down very intently, scanning back and forth. You're in full view of him if he turns around. But it's dark, so you're not sure if he can see you from that range. Hi. Am I still invisible? You are. Okay. Um. Yeah, your invisibility will last a long time. You get 2d4 minutes. And it's only been a couple minutes, so. It if... Not even a full minute, I don't think. Doing a perception action is not actually a cunning action, but I can take a dex action now. So I'm going to... So I can't attack him this round, but I'm going to um, take a stealth just to make sure I'm still in cover. Okay. Not that it should matter. 25 stealth. <laughs> with that yeah, that with advantage, right? <laughs> with, your adva with your invisibility? Yeah, you do get to roll with advantage. Um. Okay. I mean, I don't know how much it... It might. Trust me, it might. It might. You might roll higher than a 10. Uh, oh, okay, actually I did. Uh, so that'd be 14, 24, be 29 instead. Okay. Thank you for reminding me I have advantage. Now, another thing you can do, because we haven't been into a lot of ranged combat since the Knolls, another thing you can do is drop prone, which makes you much harder to hit in ranged combat, in addition to being stealth. it's You, you spend movement to drop prone. It acts as you, though you have partial... Con or partial How yeah, much partial movement concealed. does it cost to drop prone? Half your movement. Oh, wait, um, that's standing up. I don't know how much dropping prone No, standing is. up costs half your movement. Dropping prone, I'm not going to say costs much of any at all. Yeah, I don't think okay. it does. Just drop to the ground. Sure. Um, yeah, Zook drops prone when he goes into stealth there. Okay. Now, you see him focused 
his crossbow. He's focused on a lot of commotion over in this area. And you can tell he sees what's going on in this field. He's got a tree between him and there, so he doesn't have a good shot. But people just ran th right through his line of sight. But again, he's you're not sure if he can see that well in the dark. You're not sure what he saw, but you know everybody just ran right in front of his line of sight. I didn't have, yeah, I would have shot him if I could, but I didn't have any attacks left that round, so... What you gonna do? Sorry no if anybody deal. needs to get shot. <laughs> and the lovers get to do something. And question mark number four gets to do something. Zook. Yeah. Watching this sniper scan, you tell he's drawn a beat on someone, but you don't know what or who. But you can tell he's taking aim. He's noticed something and is about to shoot. I know these guys. I know my dudes are over there, right? Yes, you do. Um, you don't have an action. I'm just telling you. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Sorry, you guys are about to get shot. <laughs> Orphan, Eric, and Khalil. Yep. Mm. The door behind you bursts open. So, like, about here? Yes. Okay. And... And a merc pokes his head out. You see he's not <laughs> wearing armor, just breeches. Naked from the waist up. Uh, bare feet. <laughs> he's got a long sword clutched in one hand, though, and he's looking out the door, and he sees all of you standing in the field. And he shouts, Oi! That's all he gets to do. <laughs> he's got to wish he'd done more than that. What are you kids yeah. doing out in the lawn? He, he used his full movement action to get his breeches and his sword together. What do you want from him? Eldove. <laughs> Eldov is going to use his movement action to, and his bonus action, to, for the first time ever, break out his wings and fly up to the top of this ho house. Nice. And he's going to look down and he's going to see a guard standing there. Yeah, well, with he, his pants on. You don't see him. He's not standing. He's standing in the house with the door flung open, so you see his head and his shoulders right underneath you. Do yeah. I have line of sight to his head and his shoulders? You absolutely do have line of sight to his stupid head. You can't see his terrible mustache from where you're standing, though. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna can snipe you... his stupid head. Can you just coup de gras this guy? What are you sniping him with? I, yeah, do I get some kind of advantage or something? You do not. For being... Not okay. unless you have something that grants advantage. No, I don't. I was just wondering how the rules of being unaware work. But yeah, uh... Well, I mean, you're you're not making any effort to stealth yourself, so I mean, he hears the no, no, billowing no. and flapping yeah, of wings hears. behind him. <laughs> he hears boom, as I land on the fucking roof, dude. True with story. My adventurers back. I was flipping through the D and D website, looking at some of the unearthed unearthed arcana, and they added a type, new type of sorcerer called a storm sorcerer. And I'm like, oh, Nodal's gonna be jelly because this sorcerer actually gets magical flight instead of wings. Yeah, I like <laughs> he the would be bummed. A lot. <laughs> no way, wing flight is way cooler. Like. Magical flight is just you kind of move forward. Listen, that listen, doesn't look cool. Listen, are you gonna blow this guy's head off, or are we just all gonna stand here? <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to do, man. Yo, check out old Elda. Check out Elda. <laughs> Thank you. Where are you rolling at? That's that's the only way that I can attack. I'm going to use a. <laughs> can you roll kind of nearish to like in the woods, in the fields over here, so I can get him in the camera? I always have to zoom way out and try to hunt for people's rolls. I'm gonna kind of stay in. On well, the I'm trying to figure out how many dice I need to roll. Like, listen, that's difficult for me. <laughs> Are you gonna scorching ray his head off? Is that the idea? Yeah, I'm gonna scorching ray his head off, and that's why I need to know how many dice I need. Ah. And it's five, five dice. Five scorching like rays. Ha ha ha. Five scorching rays. Wait, where did you want me to roll over here? Yeah, right there is fine. That's cool. Reroll that one on the top of the stack. Here you go. Hey! 
<laughs> All right. Um, That's a shame. Hold on, let me think of his AC real quick. <laughs> what does that nine hit? That nine hits a nineteen. Okay, all of those hit. Two of them are crits. It's your job to give me a damage total. I'm gonna run to the fridge and grab a drink and <laughs> say a wait, silent wait, prayer I... for my dear departed NPC. Qu crits are double damage dice, but not double damage plus, right? Right. You yeah. roll the damage Stats die twice, damage. apply the modifier once. I'll be right back, gentlemen. <laughs> okay. Which, which is this something guy I realized. This came out with no pants on, or just his pants, and a sword. And, and then pretty soon he's not gonna have any skin left. I'm starting to think these uh, mercenaries may have been oversold to us somehow. I don't know. <laughs> well, we're just dealing with the rank and file, and we're kind of like 15th and 16th level characters. <laughs> That's true. But Are they're coming yourself, out. Man, I'm like 13. They're responding to the call to arms coming out in their underwear. <laughs> oh, not all these guards were on duty at the same time. Yeah. I mean, someone's got to be out there raping the slaves. Otherwise, why have slaves? Jesus that is Christ. a lot of dice. That's a lot. <laughs> is that even all of them? Or do you need to roll them again? I think that's all of them. <laughs> there should be f there should be fourteen out there. All right, add it up. Four, add eight, it up. twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. So I need one more. All right, let me pop that one out there. It's even necessary. Uh, <coughs> this guy's head yes. exploded like a long time ago. Four. All right. Uh, fuck hell. Six, ten, uh, seven, so that's seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-eight, plus another six is thirty-four, thirty-nine, plus another eight is forty-seven, forty-nine, plus <laughs> twenty-five is seventy-four fire damage. Jeez. Okay, Lord. so two things, two things. First... Well, remember when I said get pooped on earlier? <laughs> that applies again. So I forgot what the second thing is. Orphan, Eric, and Khalil. You hear the sound of the door being opened violently, slamming against the wall. And this guard <laughs> with this, the trashiest mustache you've ever seen in your life pokes his head out, naked from the waist up. He's, he was doing something nasty inside. Uh, holding his longsword behind him, looks at you and sees you, yells out, Hoy! But as he's yelled, his, the sound of his scream is blotted out by the sound of dragon wings overhead. And you look up, and you see Eldov perched triumphantly on the roof of the house. And wings outstretched. He holds his finger out and makes a uh 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 motion. <laughs> that points his ring downward, and five scorching rays come belching out. And you've seen him use this scorching ray spell quite a lot. You've never seen them all hit before. <laughs> and this also, man gets pelted this guy, by I fire that rains down from the dragon ring above him, and it just blasts him into the earth. I mean, it blows <laughs> chunks of hair and muscle in the ground. The longsword clatters inside the house. You hear a woman inside the house scream at the sight of it. <laughs> And at the end of it, it's just this, this smoldering wreckage of a man, what was once a silver eye mercenary, laying in the doorway, just smoking and... Oh, it's, it's awful. It's the worst thing you've ever seen. I, I Don't worry, guys, term. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember what the second briefly. one was. That, that was Eldo's tantrum, right? He <laughs> did spend a spell slot no, on that happened. No, I did spend a spell slot on that guy, but it wasn't a very high one. <laughs> Rickard, how how hard I, does the sniper I'm looking at shit his pants when he sees all this? He's definitely <laughs> alarmed at something. He's definitely <laughs> alarmed. Um. Actually, no, wait, that was my pearl of power. <laughs> oh, I did not, great. in fact, spend a spell slot on that. <laughs> oh, good. And you can see the sniper on the roof over there. That He noticed what happened. He absolutely saw. I mean, there, there there was no mistaking. I mean, that was brightly lit up, flames licking oh. out from the roof. Anybody from a mile around could have seen it's a that. It's shame that snipers don't get another move until after I move on them. Okay, I think, free... the, I think the plan calls for more noise like that, Eldo. Keep that up. Question mark number two. As a free action, I look up at Eldo with a raised eyebrow like, Really? Eldo rolled a really? one on his stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Taren. I can't. Uh, um, can I see anyone from where I am? You see half of a person poked in this doorway. 
<laughs> like just his so boots I'll, smoking. <laughs> I'll move to here. Uh, I see orphan and whatnot. Do I see any of the? Uh, you do not. Can I see any of these? Okay. Uh, they're all posed for combat though. When orphan came out of the woods, <laughs> orphan shouted something in infernal. Right. Um, That's right. Well, she didn't shout. She said she said it. Um, yeah. Khalil and Eric, no, they're not poised for combat. They're all looking behind them with just looks of shock and amazement <laughs> on their face right now. <laughs> More amazement than shock. I that, mean, that, we've I mean, traveled yeah, with Eldov <laughs> enough. No, like, no, this is an Eldov thing. Looking into the house from where you are, though, a guy. you see the house is in some disarray. And there's movement inside. And you hear a woman screaming hysterically somewhere inside. So, uh, this is the range on Eldritch Blast. It's five. If anything, if any enemies wielding a weapon uh, move into that range, they get star missiles. So anybody who steps into the threat range of Eldritch Blasts? So yeah. basically any enemy that breaks this tree line. 120 feet, yep. 120 feet, okay. That's five on this map. Cool. Yeah, it's roughly five. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm good with using rough estimates at this radius, I mean... <laughs> we're 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 way out in like theater of the mind combat at this point. We're way off yeah, the grid. Terran so. takes up a stance at the edge of the field and prepares uh, Elder's blast if anyone approaches can't the group. Just, can't okay. decide if Elder's like rooftop wing spread overkill was better or still inferior to when he fell off a rock onto a guy <laughs> and exploded him. <laughs> also good. <laughs> Needs more fan art. <laughs> Um, let me check passive perceptions here. Khalil, your passive perception's amazing, yes? Yeah, it is pretty balls. It is plus five, whatever's in my character sheet. And Eric, yours is 18, that's accurate? Yep. Khalil, you're the only one who notices. You hear, I mean, there's a lot of noise right now. You hear screaming from the house. You hear the, the ghost of this man burning alive behind you because there was so much scorching ray that the damage spilled over into the afterlife. Um, nice. <laughs> You hear a clattering noise behind you in this building. And when you look up, there's a second floor window. You see... Uh, let me measure that out, actually. <laughs> yeah, you can see. Um, looking up, you see someone has opened one of the wooden shutters of the second story window. And you see a young man leaning out. Heathling young man? Yes. It's, uh, and he look. He, you can't tell. You can't like make out what he's looking at or what his facial features are. But you see the horns on his head as he leans out. Orphan. <laughs> uh, I'll point that. I'll point that out to the others. Okay. Like, how do you do it? Do you just point up and say something, or do you shout, "Thiefling up there, shoot it down"? <laughs> no. 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 I just. I just point in that direction. Okay, well, no, no, nobody's looking at you at the moment, so if you just point, he'll say anything. <laughs> <laughs> There's much more interesting shit behind you, is what I'm saying. Well, a, smolder, a smoldering pile of boots is probably not as, you know, more pressing than, you know, somebody. I mean... <laughs> Orphan, Orphan and Eric... On the shoulder. Orphan, Eric, and Terran yeah. are all within range that if you say something, they'll hear you. You don't have to shout for them to hear you. Well, Eldov's too far away. He won't hear you unless you shout. Elba's also busy cackling. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine Elda has turned into like the Vegeta of this group. He's just cackling. So madly Khalil, do you from... point out and say anything, or do you not say? Yeah, anything? I'll point that out and say and, and... Okay. orphan up there. So where is he pointing to? He's pointing at a second story window on this house, and when you look up, you see a figure leaning out of the window, but it's impossible to make out who it is or what shape it is. It just it looks to you like somebody's thrown up in a window and is looking out to see the spectacle below. But in the darkness, okay. you can't make out the face. Alright. <laughs> Orphan! Yeah, so, so it's well, my turn. What would you like to do? All right. <laughs> about, about how high up is that window? Uh, 20 feet. Okay. Orphan goes up and runs up the side of the building. <laughs> To the window? And, yeah, it makes her way inside the window. Okay. When you get closer to the building, look up, you see it's the face of Amshu Nudok. Oh, I figured it was. And when he sees you darting towards the building, he reaches forward and slams the window closed. So by the time you run up the side of the building, it is now closed. <laughs> so right. Your choices are to either stay at the base of the building, mm -hmm. or run up and try to grab the window before he gets it all the way closed and 
climb in. So what you'll be using your action for this turn is I'll let you make a I'll let you make a strength check or a dex check to get up and into the window before he pulls it all the way closed. I will make that a dex check then. Okay. Oh wait, sorry about that. I accidentally moved turn. You accidentally, okay. Eric. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hi, I'm wow, shooting long time to see. All right, so she runs up the side. She runs up the the side of the building, but she does not does not get there fast enough. I'm assu I'm I'm assuming here that a seven is not enough to do this. No, you were aiming at a fifteen. So, so she'll so instead she'll go past that and up to the roof. Up to the roof. Yeah. Okay. And let me, whoever purple is, move your hand. Thank you. Okay, so from your position on the roof, because you already knew they were there, mm -hmm. you can see the last of the mercenaries disappearing down the path deeper into the woods. Okay. So you have a, a better beat on their position now than you did before you got a higher vantage point. Okay. But you don't see any other... You can't see the sniper over here yet. You can't see to any of the other roofs. Um, Can I see... And is there anything going on, like, in the plaza down here? Um, if you run to the end of the roof and look down, I'll answer that. I'm not certain I can get to the end of the roof. I might well, I'll, I'll give it to you if you want to run to the end of the roof and look down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. You run to the end I of the roof and look down, and you do see... Oops. Two mercenaries stationed outside of the front, guarding the door to this house. And as soon as you get down, making no effort to be stealthy, they look up and see you as well. <coughs> Do I see those guys? What's that? I see those guys? Um, no. You might be too far away. I already measured you're... that once yet. You're too far yeah. away. Yeah. Okay, you you used, a, used a perception check to see him. Right. No, that's fair. Because I knew I was looking for snipers, so that's why I was looking for him. Um, measure over here. But yeah, as soon as you get to the edge of the roof and peer down, you see that they were apparently stationed there to uh, guard the door. And it looks like it's been a long shift for them, but now that there's all this excitement, they're standing ready, and as soon as they hear the clamoring on the roof, they both look up and lock eyes with you. <laughs> Question mark number one did something. Callal. But uh, after she runs up the uh, roof like that, I guess I will go around over here and say, "Hey, look, there's dudes." Yeah, when you turn this corner here, you see the two dudes standing here. But you can't see in the wall of the courtyard. Okay. So I got my weapon ready. You take an I action, or was that a double move? That was a double move. That was a double that move. Okay. A double, that would have been a double move to get Khalil all the way up there. You do have your fly speed, right? Oh. You move sixty, not thirty, because you're flying. Yeah. Okay. Now, how high that above the, been... how high above up off the ground are you? Just just a couple, feet, just about one or two feet. One or two feet. Okay. Hey, Eric. <laughs> uh, seeing that Khalil went to join. Orphan, um, Eric is going to go up on this roof and join his buddy Eldev in anticipation for dudes coming out of the forest. You're still flying, <laughs> yes? Yeah. Okay. Still looking at Eldev like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get up there. Fist bump. <laughs> Eldev, gets the, Eldev gets the bro fist for that. Come, what? brother! There's slaughter enough for all! Zamook! <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, okay, question. Yes. Is a level 15 rogue badass enough to snipe from a prone position, like, contra-ducking, or do I have to get up before I can shoot? No, you can attack from a prone position. Nice! Okay. You can, exactly you can fire from a prone position. Yeah. Do I roll Do I roll at disadvantage or anything like that, or is no. it just... Okay, cool. Melee attackers have advantage to hit you if you're prone. That's the oh, disadvantage well. being knocked prone. The advantage being knocked prone is you have a slightly higher AC against... Uh, missile weapons, but you don't suffer any disadvantage to fire from a prone position. Okay. Like this guy over here, I'm counting him as being in a prone position as well. 
Oh, because okay. he's hunched, he's hunched down with his crossbow. Gotcha. Yeah, I would assume prone isn't necessarily like sitting on flat on my stomach. It's just like crouched or something, right? Well, I'm, I'm also saying that you're using the curvature of the roof of this house to your advantage. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna roll against this guy. Oh, look now, at is, that! Is that within wow. your your short bow range? Because you're shooting be. 100 feet. Oh god damn it! Oh, okay. So Wait. what does that mean? That means you roll. If it's outside of your first range marker, it means you roll a disadvantage, which means you lose the advantage you gain from stealth. You just roll one d20. Your advantage oh, and well, disadvantage can't can cancel each other out. That also means you can't apply your sneak attack. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. Reset. I'm gonna come <laughs> out of prone. Okay. Um. Um, that would be if I just go if I just sneak to the if I just creep to the other side of the roof I should be able to get them. Yes. That's about fifty two, fifty three feet. Yeah. Okay. Can I still have that twenty I just rolled? No. Nope. <laughs> God damn it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna double check the short bar range for you because you don't have it listed on your sheet here. Um, I did. It's never come up before, so... <laughs> We're so used to fighting people in little dungeons. Yeah, short bow range is 80, 320, so... Okay. So anything be... beyond 80, you roll with disadvantage. Anything beyond 320, you can't hit. Okay, so that is um, 25 to hit. That, that hits? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, I do not get to roll quite that many... I have not been keeping track of how many. That's my third regular shot. Base 12 plus. So, just to be clear, you moved up, used your bonus action to hide, right? So you can get your advantage? Well, he wasn't. I mean, he didn't know I was there, right? Well, he's invisible, I... so he gets advantage, right? Oh yeah, you do yeah. get advantage if you're invisible. You're fine. Yeah, because I was gonna hide afterwards. <laughs> gotcha. Assuming this guy's not, assuming this guy's dead. Ah, I, I don't see him surviving the sneak attack. Well, you rolled a bunch of ones, so. Let's yeah. see. That's uh, ten. Uh, what is that? Six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, thirteen, twenty-three. That's a uh, thirty-five total. Okay. He drop. He does. Then I'm going to use my cunning action to go into a crouch right there at the edge of the roof. You want to hide right there? Me okay. do that. Yeah. Roll this with uh, an advantage. You're invisible. I, it doesn't. I know it doesn't matter, matter but just for <laughs> there, the news oh, matters right it. there. That that matters. Okay. There's that twenty. All right. So now that uh, it becomes a uh, thirty-five. You are now super invisible, Khalil. <laughs> hey, what's up? These guys are here. From where you're, it's not your turn. I'm just telling you what happened. Okay. From where you're standing, you heard the sound of a grunt and then a loud slump. And when you look over, you see something as heavy has landed in this bush right by the wall. These guys both heard it too, and these guys both know you're standing there. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Question mark number four. All right. Khalil, you have an AC, right? I do. It's pretty beefy. It's pretty beefy, too. 20. Is that your AC, or is that another bonus that I'm not seeing? It's a 20. Nice. Not nice enough, but nice. <laughs> Are you hitting me? I am. Rickward, that's illegal. You know that, right? The illegal. Like, Suck my I'm, nuts. I, I, I'm taking. I'm gonna call the D and D police on you. Oh, you mean the DDPD? Yeah, the DDPD. Oh, that's D8s. I need D10s. No, you don't need D10s. Stick with D8s. Khalil. 
Okay. 18 damage. Okay. As two crossbow bolts come flying out of the night from a sniper up on the roof. Sorry. They catch you and pierce into your armor. And looking up there, I mean, you can't, from this distance, um, you can't see his exact position, but you definitely know he's there because he's shot from there. Yep. And life sucks from for the, you. Uh, from the roof on the, uh, up here? No, I just marked him. He's this white spot here. Okay. I'm just drawing cool. snipers because they're probably not going to move around a whole lot. Or last very long. <laughs> <laughs> and Khalil, you have an AC, right? It hasn't changed since two seconds ago, has it? Not really, no. All right, cool. Eleven more damage. Uh, nuts to that. Combat maneuver. Parry. Can you parry a missile attack? Oh, uh, you're shooting at me. I thought you guys. I thought you guys had to melee me. No, this is. We're on sniper turn, not merc turn. Okay. The then. mercs are coming next. <laughs> Eleven more. Okay. Yeah. As you hear, one of the two more crossbow bolts. One of them hits you, damages you. The other one, it goes wide. You're not sure where it landed. But you felt it whiz by your ear. So you know that there's at least two snipers up on this roof. Alright. Remember all those crossbow rolls we looked up? Huh? Huh? I know that crossbows, they can fire twice in a round if they have crossbow experts. <laughs> Khalil. Hey. You have an AC, right? Yeah. It hasn't changed, has it? No. Cool. Um, these two guards, these two mercs, move into... Uh, Jump on your head like that. Yeah, I'm just going to leave them right here. Okay. They move in to engage you, an orphan. Alright. Does the orphan have an AC? Yeah, she will in a second here. Don't get greedy. Can they reach orphan? It's... Orphan's up on the roof. Orphan is up on the roof. So yeah, they're both going to attack Khalil. Whoa. <laughs> being on the roof is, is a cool place. <laughs> I like being on the roof. Khalil. Hey. Both of the mercs that were starting in front of the door step up to engage you, and you parry their blows. Uh, only one of them landed a hit. It only did three damage. Do you want to do anything okay. about that, or just let it land? That um, one you can react no. to. I'm going to repost that shit. Hell yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, they both missed you. One missed you twice, the other one just missed you once. Oh. So, I'll, re I'll repost the guy that hit me once. Okay. Do you still take the three damage? I do. Okay. It's just repost, uh, repost uh, allows me to counter a... Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. A missed attack. And does a uh, twenty-seven hit? It does. We tint one of my dudes red here. Yeah. All right, and then I get to add this plus eight. Five, seven, eight, fifteen damage. Fifteen total. Yep, yeah, fifteen total. Okay. You know that they see Orphan up there, but she's up on the roof doing God knows what. Um, <laughs> you're the enemy they see directly in front of you, so they both step in to engage. They get their long swords out, and you meet their blows with your steel easily enough. One of them gets it on the side, cuts into your armor, but he leaves himself wide open, and you come back and slash across his chest. Hey, Orphan, you should make like Dr. Doom and go foot dive. It's not Orphan's uh, turn, it is Eldove's turn. El Dubly. Okay, Eldub is El Dubly is going to take his turn. Uh getting into position, I think. There's nothing really close by. <clears throat> All right, let me line block this out line wise. I think I'm gonna Actually, pop before down you take your turn, roof. Khalil. To be fair, you hear Yo. a lot of commotion inside the courtyard. You just can't see because you're not above the wall. There's a lot of movement happening over there. Orphan, you might be able to see, actually. Orphan, you see men start to spill out into the courtyard, but you can't be sure how many. Okay. All right. Elda, if you don't see or hear any of that. Can I see those men in the courtyard? You cannot. Because they're, with, they're within range of my spells. Uh, but <laughs> they're too far for you to see. Okay. Okay. Then, yeah, that's it. Okay. 
Question mark. That's number two, right? Yes. Yep. Onion Man. That's you, Terry. Captain Onion. Captain Onion. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Um, can I hear? Can I tell if there's this commotion going on inside the courtyard from here or not? You can't see into the courtyard from there. You know that there's commotion ahead of you on the path. Um, uh -huh. You see the shadows, the shapes fighting in the darkness. You mean you know Khalil is up in that area. So you yeah. imagine it's really easy to piece together that Khalil is meeting swords with some of the mercs up there. Um, if it were daylight, you'd be able to see into the courtyard, but it's moonlight. Second here, range tool. So, uh, 500 feet is 16 points, or 16. Sounds about right. So what we're going to do is we're going to open an arcane portal with one side here, and one side right here. Up on the roof? Yep. Okay. And then we're going to go through said portal. You're standing on the roof? Hello, every peoples. You see, <laughs> from the roof, you see the two snipers in front of you. They're poised. They're drawing bead on Khalil down in front of the courtyard. That, the spell cast takes my action, so I can only move through the portal. I can't attack them this turn. That's fine. I'm just letting you know what all's up here. Yep. Um, what's your passive perception? <laughs> Pretty bad. Probably like 12. <clears throat> 12. It's actually 11. Looking down in the courtyard, you see that a couple more mercs have spilled out. Five in total. In the courtyard. Hmm have come out through the door. Okay. Question mark number three. Oh, and I'm going to make a stealth roll as I move through so they don't hear me. If they're all focused down there, I probably shouldn't have to... I know I can't hide, but I can just... Stealth takes an action. Is fairly good. Oh, it does? You have really? to use an action to take stealth. Yes. Oh, it's just part of movement. Okay. You're, no, you're just used to watching me do it because yeah. I get an action. Zoo gets, yeah, a, yeah. Zoo okay. gets a free bonus action that you can stealth with. Right. Um, now, this gate is easily visible, right? This is not an invisible gate. No, no. Does it make, like, a loud wow sound? Uh, that's up to you. Doesn't make a loud sound, but, I mean, these two crossbowmen know that you're back there, and they can see back through the gate at Eldov. Well, which way is the portal facing from here? Is it facing towards Eldov or towards Khalil? Uh, towards Eldov. Towards Eldov. So they, they're, like, have a 20-foot shot to Eldov from here. Wait, does that mean Eldov right now can see the courtyard through the portal? It means he can see Terran's back... He can't see the port courtyard because the roof slants up the wrong direction. If the portal had been on the top of the roof facing down, he could see the courtyard. But oh, Eldov okay. can look through and see the two crossbowmen. I'll give him that. So wait, all you did was make it so that they can shoot me? Why would you cast a spell? <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> Question mark so number three. Fireball into the courtyard. Yeah, what was the purpose of this? So he could well, it's not my fault and... you didn't just fly up into the air and start raining fireballs down. I couldn't Bruises. see them. I tried. <laughs> That's why you have to go higher. I'm giving you a way to get higher. This is the worst spell. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, um... Oh, and everybody's fly drops with that. God That's damn it, that was what I was just... Uh oh, oh come on! I'm on a roof! <laughs> Khalil really only drops the floor. Dessel, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> Dessel. Yes. Uh, you are... Is you there are an really... opposite of MVP? <laughs> you are... You are literally Hitler right now. <laughs> all right, all right, settle down, everyone. All right, Orphan, you might hear something. Okay, <laughs> that's all I got for you at the set at the, at the, at the time. Um, <laughs> you hear <laughs> muffled shouting from the house that you're perched on, <laughs> but it, you're, it's impossible to make out what's being said or who's saying it or what's going on. Okay. I'm gonna have to spend a turn climbing off this goddamn house now. No, you don't. You spend move well. You spend movement points. You have to make a check to see if you fall, but you don't have to spend an action to get off the roof. Mm. Uh, it is Orphan's turn. All right. So, is, so Khalil's not where he is right now. What happened to Khalil? Khalil's right there. Oh, Khalil's okay. right here. Oops. <laughs> he fell over. I was trying to pick up Orphan, and then I accidentally. Orphan, you know that there's movement in the courtyard. But you can't actually count all five of these guys. From where you're at. Yeah. Um, so what, what, what I'm going to do, Orphan's going to jump off the roof. Okay. Trying to land on one of these dudes. Okay. <laughs> like I said, foot dive. I, I don't know what kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of action that is. To what end? Are you, are you looking to land and launch melee attacks on him? Or are you trying to knock him prone? 
Did you uh, yeah, drop probably, in the head? probably knock him prone. Okay. Um, I don't know if that counts as like a, an attack action or a move action. It's going to count as a special kind of attack action. Make okay. make an unarmed melee attack. All right, that's all. That's what all my attacks are. Uh, let's see. Right, but this one won't deal damage. This one will knock him down if you hit. It's a, a 24. That hits. And so you land on this guy and knock him prone, and now you can take the rest of your melee attacks. Okay, well, you, so you converted have... your first attack into that shove action to knock him prone. Yeah. So okay, you get so advantage take... with the rest of them. Nice. Um, actually, I, I guess I meant I better do this one at a time, then. <laughs> so, Please here's do, the first yes. one. Uh, that'll hit. And that'll be a 29. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me grab a damage dice here. For 12 damage. For 12? Yeah. Okay. Now, you jumped on the one... I'll give you the option, because you saw Khal uh, one of them struck Khalil, and then Khalil immediately turned around and gashed him. Do you jump on the one that struck Khalil, or the other one? The other one, because I'm... Yeah. The one who I'm missed gonna, Khalil. Okay. The one who missed Khalil. Gotcha. And how much damage was the first hit? That was 12. 12. Okay. Uh, sec second hit is 26. Okay. So I assume that hits. Oh, yeah. For another 12. Okay. Third hit. He's still alive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, 23. Now, did you spend a key point to get that third hit? I'm about to. Okay. Uh, 23 for just 6 damage. He's alive, but you can kind of tell he wishes he weren't. You jump off this <laughs> roof and put the full weight of you and knock him to the ground. Um, I'm actually going to stack on fall damage for that. Seems appropriate. And you land on the ground... And you knock the wind out, and he falls over backwards. You start laying into him with your fists, and he's laying prone on the ground, and your purse on top of him, wailing on him. He's not having a good day, to say the least. Um, for your position now, you have very clear sight into the courtyard, and you can count the five guys here, the mercenaries. Uh, you c cannot see the crossmen on the roof from where you're at, though. They are still. Okay. What? Who's that sixth guy? What sixth guy? I'm counting. There's, there's seven, seven people dudes. here. Yeah, there's five in the courtyard. There's two in front of Kymir's oh, okay. house. Gotcha. Khalil is engaged with these two here. These ones, Terran just came watch pouring out of the door. Yeah. Okay, and then there's also a crossbowman. The white dots. The white dots are the crossbowmen back here. Um, Eldov okay. has no idea that. Well, you know what? Yeah, Eldov can see because all he has to do is look through the portal and. You can see the back of the crossman's heads down there. Um, from your position, Eldov, looking mm -hmm. through the portal, you don't have a good angle to look down into the courtyard, but you're hearing a lot of commotion coming from that general area. Yeah, I was just wondering, like, out of character, what was going on. Yeah. Like, in character, yeah. Question mark number one. Khalil. It's hacking time. Is it really? It is. Okay. The clappering right, so. time. Yep. No, clobbering would mean I'm, you know, bludgeoning the dude. No, this is this is hacking. Alright, uh so that's a eighteen. Uh that'll hit. Wait. Uh eleven damage. The guy I hit him earlier. Okay. Alright. How many extra attacks do I get? I you think should I get... be up to, you should get two extra attacks. Fighter is the only class yeah. that gets three attacks per round. Yeah. All right, second hit, same guy. That is uh, that is eighteen damage. Eighteen. Yep. And then third what's, hit. What's his D ten for? That's my your your damage. Oh, uh, wait, no, my my damage is D eight. I'm sorry. <laughs> do, I, do I need to start off with this guy's damage? Were you rolling a D ten instead of a D eight? We rolled a ten, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can't roll a ten on a D eight. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. First hit. Five plus eight is uh, thirteen. Second hit. Eight plus eight is sixteen. Third okay. hit. You down? Yep. 
Well, you right. go ahead and hit him the third time. He might be, if you do enough damage on this third hit. Uh, plus 11 to that is 23, and another 16. While Orphan is pummeling this poor bastard into the cement, <laughs> Galil very deftly steps forward with his sword and gives three quick slashes, and you feel a kind of uh, justice being served, hacking this silver-eyed mercenary to death with the Sanguine Serpent's blade, and yep. he is out. You have a move still. I do. Um. But I real right now, uh, with all the commotion here on the other side of that gate, I probably don't need to move. Probably not. They'll probably come to you. Um, yeah. I will though. Shout over my shoulder. Uh, Eric, a little help here. Eric's like very slowly climbing down this roof. <laughs> Eric, it is your turn. Well, I was going to stay here and hold an action for dudes, but since Khalil called for Khalil has to shout pretty loud for you to be able to hear him from that far away. Yeah, that's what. If Khalil screams at the top of his lungs, let's make sure he didn't just. <laughs> you're, you're How quite does sound distance. travel through a teleportal? <laughs> Um, if you scream at the top of your lungs, it's going to deafen Terran. He'll be deaf until the end of your next turn. No, it's fine. <laughs> uh, now, you're not flying anymore. Uh, I know. It takes twice the amount of move to get down off the house. you got to climb down. So it's... All right. But so I won't fall? I don't take falling damage? As long or as you succeed roll? on an athletics check, you can use athletics or acrobatics. Either one. I think I have athletics. You're wearing heavy armor, right? I do have athletics. Okay, you already have your armor uh, yes. there, right? Yes. I want to know? Go ahead. This is only a one-story roof. It's not a two-story. Uh, that is a twenty-four. Yeah, you get down, no problem. You, you climb down. The sounds of the screaming woman can still be heard inside the house, and you hear a couple of children as well. Um, kind of a hysteria happening inside the house in the smoking ruins of that. <laughs> Ex mercenary are still in the doorway. One of these days, I'll actually take calm emotions. It will be great. <laughs> I all I can do is feel bad. Zook is feeling bad. Free action. <laughs> no, actually, more feel, than the rest of us can do. Feeling bad takes two rounds. <laughs> all right, Zook. Well, my plan was to just glide over to this other roof and take out one of these snipers, but apparently, I'm not flying anymore. Yep. So it looks like oh, I can. Everyone is so bitter they're not flying. It looks like now, I can. No, so now this, I have, this house here is a one-story house. This is a two-story house. Right. So I can't actually. I, what I can do is I can climb down and get to here with my movement because okay. I have climbing ability. Yes, have you have second-story second story work. work. Mm -hmm. So it looks like if I take double movement, I can get to basically here. So I'm gonna cl I'm gonna climb down and run to here, and take a stealth position pressed up against that wall. All right, go ahead and roll your stealth. Uh, 